Good morning from Las Vegas. Sty is still in full swing, if anyone was wondering. Van is a absolute wreck. I'm gonna make some breakfast right now, but I wanted to show you our campsite. We managed to escape the snow of Bishop and Mammoth, California just in time. I'm just outside of Vegas right now. I post all of my campsite locations on my Patreon, so if you wanna know the exact location, feel free to support me there. But, take a little look at that. It's gorgeous outside. These mountains are amazing. This road is really cool. There are like all these little sandy pull-offs. I have um, my Starlink running that I'm plugging through the window, obviously. And yeah, today is just like an editing day while I clean up, make space in the van for Cap and kind of plan out where we're gonna go for these next 11 days that I have him with me. It's kind of stressful because I had a whole route planned out and like a whole trip planned out. We were supposed to go to Benton Hot Springs by Mammoth Mountain, California, and they're getting hammered with snow again. So we gave up our reservation and instead of like seeing all my friends and stuff like that, we we're just gonna head south and follow the weather. And you know, living in a van in the mountains is fun, I think if you snowboard, but for people who just like don't really care about that, we want some sun and some heat. And Yeti Boy wants to run around. <laughs> little sunglasses so my sty doesn't distract you but we're all ready for the day this is our campsite got starlink going because signals a little weak out here there's tons of fire pits this is like some giant area that tons of people could park on and I think there's more over here on this like dried out lake those mountains it's like 50 degrees here, but it's pretty freaking windy. So it's not really a day for us to want to sit outside. <laughs> Which is fine because I have lots of work and lots of cleaning to do in the van for Cap's arrival. We made it to Joshua Tree. We drove all through the desert today, all through the Mojave Desert, and almost ran out of gas. Or I was convinced we were going to run out of gas, but we didn't. And we just came into town. We're gonna go get a snack, I think. And then tomorrow we're gonna go into the national park because it's already like- We're getting a full meal. Three o'clock. Okay, we're not getting a snack, we're getting a full meal. Then we're gonna hopefully catch sunset on a really cool campsite. Do you know where we're camping? Yes, I do. You're gonna love it. I'm really excited to show you. Well, we are leaving a really weird restaurant. Yeah, in Yucca, we went in to like a Mexican restaurant because it had parking so we wouldn't be away from the van. And then we decided not to stay. <laughs> I warned you. Warned. You didn't believe me. Yeah. I didn't think it was that bad and then I walked to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom as soon as I entered and I was like, uh, I don't think I want to eat here, honey. There's, there's weird vibes. Yeah. All around weird vibes. Weird vibes is like the nice term. Am I going to fall off a ledge? No, you're good. Go, and then go right. Um, yeah, super weird vibes. Oh. Everything about it said it red fine. flag. Yeah, and then like and then people you, came. And then you tried to be saying I was wrong. 
because I give people the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, red flags. Why did that place have such good ratings? So anyway, we're headed back into Joshua Tree. We're gonna go to, what is it? Something Saloon, the Joshua Tree. The Joshua Tree Saloon, which I've been to before with my with my dad last time I was here. So I know that it's pretty decent. It just can get really busy, especially this time of night, but we'll see. At least we'll have good dinner and it's on the way to our campsite for the night. We're at our campsite, Joshua Tree. <laughs> I don't even know if anyone's gonna be able to see this. Daddy, come. <laughs> Daddy, come here. Good morning. It is 7.13. It's pouring rain. We had to move from our campsite last night. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of water happening here. And we were originally parked on a dried up lake bed. And the pro master is just not good in mud. So I woke up at like midnight and moved the van, which was kind of a pain in the ass. Um, it's really cool out here. Obviously this guy like lives here full time. Nobody really cares what goes on out here. There's lots of rigs, lots of meetups that happen. Um, it's a really nice area and you can be really spread out. I just parked really close to this guy because I wanted to be near the road to get out of here. But we're gonna head to my favorite cafe in Joshua Tree. It's called Natural Sisters and get some breakfast. Board and Yeti hates that. So. I really like this spot. I found it last year when I was camping with my dad. And after I've been back multiple times since then just because it's a there's always room for big rigs. You could bring all your friends. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Sorry, it's washboard. I'll talk to you in a bit. <laughs> I said this scared the shit out of me. What did? I thought we were just parked in front of a rock. There's like a sculpture <laughs> hanging off of it. Oh. And I just looked up and it literally terrified me. It's really cute actually, huh? I came here every morning on my girls' trip to Joshua Tree last year, so. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. good. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is the yogurt for? It looks so good. My beverages. We already took a spicy juice shot, but I forgot to film it. Whoops. tree and I well technically it's Yucca Valley I probably shouldn't be showing you this because I don't want everybody to go here but whatever here it is Ta -da! thrift shopping near Joshua Tree is unreal it is so good yeah you missed this room Thank you. 
tiny. Those butterflies are dope though. I love the butterfly boots. Mm. They're all too small. Yeah. Anyway. I think they got the sizing wrong in this joint. You do have white boots, don't you? Yeah, but these are sick. This is sick. Hand painted. Yeah. Motorhead. You got it for self defense. Alright, we. <laughs> We went to my favorite thrift store. Look what I got. They're so good. They were 60 bucks. I love them. I always go in there when I come through Joshua Tree and they have like this amazing cowboy boot collection and Doc Martin collection, which is crazy. Yeah. But I got these and I got this little incense. And do you want to show your treasure? I got a golf club because I found a bunch of golf balls at the last site that yeah. we stayed at. So, so we're gonna do some desert golfing when we camp next. <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. And he also said he's gonna use it for self-defense. <laughs> if need be. I'll duct tape my knife to it and I'll be a pirate. <laughs> we came to Joshua Tree the one day of the year that it's snowing and there's zero visibility in the entire park. You can't see anything. clearer out there. The roads look a little slippery so be careful on it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah maybe uh, it's supposed to clear up halfway through the ride so. Okay. I was talking to the girl in the gift shop and they don't have plows out here but they have like bulldozers because it was flooded. It rained this morning and all the water was pushing all the sand into the road so they had to like dig the sand up the road and use I can't even believe this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Those are the shades, huh? Why not? They're not, I like them. Well, I need to hide my sty, and I already wore my other glasses. No, they're very snow blue. <laughs> Hi, handsome. <laughs> Beautiful. This is epic. It's gorgeous. We'll cut over and show you. 
love hail. Blue skies ahead, though. So these palm trees over here are part of a palm tree farm, and what they do is they just grow the palm trees, and then they'll dig them up and ship them to places that want a really nice, mature palm tree, like hotels, resorts, things like that. are just outside the Salton Sea, which is kind of like a ghost town, so we found this weird little convenience store. Oh my god! A perfect double rainbow! Dang. Like literally. That was the most beautiful rainbow I've ever seen. Like we got... Oh, you need a tree! So we stopped at this little grocery store in the middle of nowhere. It's called Skips. And I got this. This is my favorite popsicle of all time. I don't really like popsicles, but I do like this one. This one is very freezer burn. Is it? Yeah. Mm. It's so good though. Wow, the rainbow's still going strong. Gorgeous! Wow. You guys, we just got an amazing campsite. We did pay $10 for it, but we were driving to Bombay Beach, the Salton Sea, and we decided we would just kind of stay here because it was safer. So let me just show you. Oh my God, it's amazing. Here's our campsite. <gasps> But we can't go swimming in that water because it's all toxic waste. And it does kind of smell a little bit. <laughs> and there are bathrooms and showers. I cannot remember the last time I camped somewhere where there are bathrooms and showers. Woohoo! Tell me that's not a UFO. What is that then? I gotta cover it. No, it's fine. You go outside, you can't see it from the fucking window. What is that? It's not two stars. You, this is horrible footage. <laughs> this is why UFOs get a bad name, because... Because <laughs> people, because people like me. <laughs> yeah, it's a UFO, I swear, if you look at it dark, I don't know. We're here cooking dinner. We're watching a documentary on the Salton Sea, which I'm gonna link below. It's on YouTube for free. It's really interesting because we're going to visit all these places tomorrow and I've already seen it, but I wanted Cap to kind of see it for the first time because the history is very interesting. Oh, it's super crazy. So crazy. So this is our dinner. We're having, Ooh, oh, yeah, oh no. Yeah, Rice yeah. pilaf and some sort of chicken sausage. And there are some trains going by. Kind of cool the lake, polluted lake next to us, and then trains all night. Yeah, the polluted lake. But we're gonna wake up, we're gonna cook breakfast. This spot was only ten dollars and it's gorgeous. So we will see you in the morning. Yes, yes, <laughs> at least I'll get a day off. 